Hi all, it's Ziv from Elementor. Today I'll show you how to use Elementor's powerful theme style settings, which are global settings that allow you to set default styling options for various elements, such as backgrounds, headings, buttons, form fields, and images. As you may know, installing a WordPress theme creates a layer of design styles and rules. This means that any new element you add to your site may inherit those style settings, which can cause your site's design to change as well when switching themes. Elementor's theme style settings prevents this from happening by taking over the global design layer previously handled by the theme. This way, you can easily control your site's design and ensure that you've consistently used your branding elements and other stylistic choices across your site. So let's dive in and see how it works. For this tutorial, I've gone ahead and created a website for Buta, a spa and salon establishment. But as you can see, I deliberately haven't styled it yet. Let's check out the home page. It has a button in the header as well as throughout the page. It also has heading widgets set to H1, H2, and H3. As well as text editor widgets, two image widgets, a form widget, and a link in the footer. I will use Elementor's theme style settings to style them so you can see exactly how it works across the site. Simply click the hamburger menu in the upper left corner of any page or post to access the theme style settings. It's important to know that theme style affects your theme styling options. So in order for it to affect Elementor elements, we need to disable Elementor's default colors and fonts in Elementor settings. I'll go ahead and click here to access and change these settings. Okay, great. Now Elementor will only inherit the fonts and colors we set in theme style. Let's go back and start styling. First, in background, I'll go ahead and give it this pink background color. So now when I publish or update these theme style settings, all pages on my site will automatically get this background color as well. I'll use the finder to open the contact page so you can see. Simply press Command or Control plus E and search for the page. Then hold down Command or Control to open the page in a new tab. As you can see, it received the same pink background color as well. And I can still change it on the page itself, of course. It's important to know that these theme style settings will be applied globally across your website, unless an element already has its own specific style applied to it. Okay, back on our home page in theme style, let's move on to the topography dropdown. I'll start with the body, which affects all paragraph text across the site. I'll go ahead and change the text color first. Next, the typography. You can adjust the paragraph spacing as well. Here, you can style all links that appear on the site. In our case, there's one in the footer. You can give them a color and set their typography. The same goes for the have a state. Okay, great. Let's move on to the headings on my site. I'll give my H1s this dark pink red color. And in typography, change the font family and some other settings. I'll do the same for my H2s. Like before, I'll give my H3s the same color and font family. And change some other typography settings as well. Let's move on to the site's buttons. In typography, I'll set the font family as well as some other typography settings. For the button's normal state, I'll set the text color to white and the background color to the dark pink red we used before. On hover, I'll go ahead and reverse it. I'll also set the border radius to zero, so the button is a rectangle. Next, I'll unlink the padding values and add 20 pixels to the top and bottom and 30 pixels on the sides. Okay, looking good. Now it's time to style our form widgets a bit. Let's style the fields. I'll go ahead and set the font family 
and change the text color as well as the background color for the normal state. Next, I'll change the border type to solid and give it some width. And here, give it a nice color. On focus, so when clicking on the field, I'll darken the text color. I'll also set the border radius to change to 30 pixels. Cool. And here you can control the transition duration if you like. Next, I'll give the field a custom padding by unlinking these values and setting them individually. And lastly, you can globally style all images on your site as well. Let's scroll back up and check it out. There are many things you can do here, such as giving them a border or a box shadow. But for this design, I'll leave it as is. OK, great. We're done setting up our website style guide with Elementor's theme style settings. Let's check out our contact page. As you can see, all of the style changes we made in theme style are automatically applied here. Also, any new element you add to your site will automatically get the global style you've set in theme style by default. I'll go ahead and drag in a form widget over here. It has the same design as the form widget on our home page. Cool. Theme styles are modular, meaning only the settings you change are affected, and the rest of your site's styles remain the same. Let's go back to the home page so you can see what I mean. I'll go ahead and style this button differently, so it really stands out. In typography, I'll change the font family, size, and letter spacing. For the button's normal state, I'll change the text color to this dark pink. For the background color, I'll slide the opacity all the way down, so it's transparent. Next, I'll set the border type to solid, and add a line on the bottom, like so. Great. Now, I'll just copy this button, and paste the style onto the Facial Treatments button. All I need to do is add some padding on the top, and I'm done. As you can see, the style I gave to buttons in the theme style settings are still applied to the buttons on my page. And any new button widget I add to my page will receive this style by default. But an element that already has its own specific style applied to it will stay that way. Lastly, just like any other elemental editing you might do, theme style works with the revisions and history controls, so you can undo and redo changes, and can always revert back to an earlier version of your theme style design. This could come in handy if you need to change your site's style to fit a certain campaign, for example. Theme style also works with draft and publish modes, so you can test the changes and save them to draft without having them affect your live site. Your live site will only get the changes applied when you click the theme styles publish and update button. Well, that's it. Now you know how to use Elementor's powerful theme style settings, allowing you to easily control your site's design and ensure that you've consistently used your branding elements and other stylistic choices across your site. Have fun styling around and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials. Ciao for now.